Okay, upper trench is underway, and I just really want to do is uh, be able to set the level um, so I can get the blocks at the level to come up to that string so I know how to dig the rest of it in relation to that string and get it uh, fairly level so I can get the fabric in there and the uh, and the stone and you know this area here I wanted to be you know really about just one block above the uh, sidewalk so uh, two blocks total one block underground uh, as discussed earlier I really tapered down on the the angle of this otherwise too much materials so um, right now what I'm doing is took these two blocks out from here and you can see the impression is still in there uh, from where they were leveled off and I've got them down and back I'm chiseling them to break uh, a portion off of each side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna use one of these two grates right here into a sh uh, section of this I've got laying around. I decided rather than putting putting drainage tile uh, with the slits and the sock and all of that jazz down along the hole back, it the natural original hard slope here um, is just going to channel all the water down to here so I'm going to put a piece of this coming through here which eventually there are going to be very large platform steps in this uh, taking us up to there all that's going to get busted out this will run underneath it and drain. Uh, so for right now, all I need to do is get a piece in there. The fabric and the stone and the slope will just catch and divert. I mean, this is a, I still don't think the actual like perspective of how steep this is. You just really, it's hard to capture on the camera, but it is going to channel all the water down to this area anyhow and then with a piece of uh, corrugated pipe and that grate that should catch it and run it right out through here and again it really shouldn't be you know pouring running water coming out it should just be just a a trickle that comes out so I am not going to put in this all behind that it's just more digging and more 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 of everything so next i'll show um, what i'm doing with the block so how i do this when i just have um just a little bit to do um to cut block to get it to fit whatever the, pretty much this whole wall should just be running with full lengths uh here's one i've already already chiseled and here's one you just scratch a line. So I laid a piece of that drain tile over where I had the two blocks up against each other. That's what I've chiseled off. And scratch my line and then just, you know, start chiseling to make a, you know, a, a weak spot all the way around. Flip it around, do a little bit in back, and then... Um, just whack it a couple good times in the middle and it will generally bust I mean you can see how it, it came off in a couple pieces but you'll get what you want and what's good about chiseling is you can get that's the kind of edge you get um, if you needed a block like that exposed on a corner for whatever reason if you cut it then it's like this you know just per this this nice smooth line that uh, you really don't want with this with this kind of, you don't want that when any exposed it sides are like that if you had to cut it where it was going to be exposed uh, and when you cut it oh my god if you've never done this before it just makes so much dust you really need another person with a little water bottle with a hole cut in it so you can squirt water on it and keep the dust down if you do not i mean you got to wear a respirator um, 
Another thing I meant to mention, again, when chiseling, eye protection, eye protection, eye protection. Cannot stress that enough. Do not do this without eye protection or the other method. Um, but if you put a mason masonry blade on your saw and cut this, there will be so much dust that is inevitably going to get on your neighbor's car. It's It will just be this cloud of dust that lingers and carries on the air and can be traced right back to you so um you know if you're gonna cut it you need really two people and somebody with a little water bottle squirting on it to keep the dust down otherwise this takes a couple minutes and you swing the hammer a couple times and you're done all right so that's one that uh broke smoother and uh you know more ideal to what i wanted so you can see on the final hit and yeah i probably hit it like you go it's a bunch of la light taps all you know on three sides of it anyhow top and bottom and, and back just to get that scratch line in there and then um you know then go on one of the flat sides and just start start progressively whacking harder and then i'll just put the chisel in the middle and you know whack a little harder whack a little harder and it breaks off in one nice big chunk usually like this sometimes it does like that but um you can see if you needed that for a corner block for whatever reason you've got a same kind of finish as you do on the on the front so i've got these cut i'm gonna go uh, put these back in place and put the tile in one of those grates, some stone, and I can start moving along at a better pace of getting this wall up. All right, well, this turned out very nice, and uh, here's the pipe coming through. This will all get cut and contoured and sloped correctly later. I just wanted to make sure it fit so i'll put some more i'll lift this block up and put some stone under here in fact i will lift it up all right now let me see i went with um that grate over it so i'll just pile stone up all in all in behind here and that should work out quite well i really would like to have the chance to put um, maybe actually some mortar or something uh, in there, but for right now, I just need to get blocks cut and get the wall. Well, I don't have to actually cut any after this. Just get the wall built up and uh, let me go wide angle here. Um, I just need to come up tall enough so I can pull this back and get the rest of the dirt right up behind it. So um, I just need to get this up to the correct height. And this, if need be, I can always come back. They're just stacked. I, you just pull out this section and I can mortar that later, but I don't have time to fool around with finding <laughs> my mortar mixing, blah, 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 all of that right now. I just need to, need to keep moving and kind of get this step figured out here as well so looking good and i think that drainage is gonna work i guess we'll find out on a on a big rain because there are plenty of them and coming into september there's usually tropical storms and such so uh put the camera down and get moving all right, all right. i'm going to demonstrate grandpa's Jumper in action. I brought this all the way back from Connecticut. It has lived its entire life outside in Connecticut. It is probably from the 1940s. Um, but this is what it does. So I just lifted this, uh, this membrane fabric back up and have thrown some dirt back in here. Um, because I would dug too deep and I was going to end up putting way too much stone in there and this stuff's like five bucks a bag or something. Uh, you know, if I had a better, better setup going, 
and a place to put it, I would have just gotten, you know, a load of gravel and, and like clear stone out here, but um, I don't have any place to put it that it wouldn't be in the way. So I'm just having to kind of piecemeal it. But uh, anyhow, that's how that works. This thing, I don't know what it weighs, but it's a lot. I remember when I was a kid, you know, it was, you knew you were getting strong when you could lift this up off, off the ground. Yeah, it's probably 50 pounds. I'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, a little kid, you sit there, ah, and then finally, oh, I lift it this far. And now it's like, ah. So, anyhow, that's that. I'll get this level, put, put the membrane back, put some stone back, and get some rocks in. So then I can take the silt fence out and get the dirt up to the wall so I can get my level set as to where, how high I want it uh, built up to. So anyhow, that's that. Here's a quick video so you can get an idea. There's the start of the wall and it will come up oh, probably to right around here somewhere. You can see I've already got the dirt filled in and just need to get the rest of the wall up so then I can take this down and move the dirt out and this was a very tall pile the other day so by hand I have raked and moved and shoveled all this all around so that's what it looks like it is a brutally hot Saturday on the Labor Day weekend 2022 got out here uh, late mid morning and did some more uh, setting a block for that first course which again takes it takes a while I had to just scoop and dig and move dirt around and so just getting uh, as many of the bottom blocks in got to build out before you can build up but I kind of want to get um, in the next few hours I'd kind of like to get from like right around there I've been focused on this side um, so I, I need to divert over to here get it built out a little bit more in both directions and you can see I'm stepping it stepping it into the slope here and I've got some gravel spread and I'm level on my long and short courses here both um, side to side and front to back so I'm gonna set the camera here I got it on this little mini tripod and just gonna try and set a block here so you can get an idea what that looks like. Let's see, go ahead and get some gloves on here. And I've got my this this hammer seems to be working really good. It's a uh, I think it's a I can't remember if it's a five or a ten pound. Five. Uh, dead blow. Uh, it's a pound on the block, so um, this block is good. I'm gonna see if I can get this one in here. And actually, it's got a broken off corner. Which do I want to use that? Yeah, that'll be good up down there. So, let's see what we got. I can already see it's a little high there. Um, kind of needs to go up on this end, but it needs to go down on this end, so let's so that's how that looks and let's see if I knock this corner down a little bit Right on the edge. 
um, you know, let's just see what it looks like overall. Let's get another block in here. And another block in here. And put the big level on. And yeah, I mean it's it's a little it's a little out. I mean overall it's saying it either need, needs to go down on this end or up on that. It's easier to set this side down, but it's staying um it's staying consistent. I got a little off somewhere around here. And you can monkey with this thing for I mean you could you could really spend 15 20 minutes on one or two blocks and that's a lot of time so um, you know the way these things are constructed um, you know it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect I got some flaws in the wall I built over over there over 20 years ago it got a little off and you know it's it's it hasn't it hasn't budged nothing's happened to it in 20 something years so um, let me move the camera back around uh, to this side. So, as you can see, it's it's coming along really good. Let's look at it from this angle, and there you can see it's just a little bit off on the level. And we can see, and this is also something you can you can see. There's a I, don't know, I might not be able to get the camera low enough, but there's a little bit of a high here, low here, um, a little bit of a gap right there. So I'd like to get a block or two up on this step and then transfer efforts down to there. Cause ideally what I want to do is get some of that type of drain tile. I'm going to slit it and put it around these guy wires here and then start to get some more fill from over here and get it get it going up behind the wall and then get get more stone in um, i'm going to use that general purpose kind of clear stone um, over the base of this uh, river pebbles so uh, let's see i mean you know, it is probably going to come up to, I'm going to overall come up probably maybe to somewhere right in around there. So, um, I'm going to put the camera down and get to work on, on this. It's, uh, it's kind of just tedious and boring to watch, so I won't bother filming that. But, you know, you get the idea. You're going to, under here, I'm going to. It looks like it's at about the right level that I'll be able to just add stone to it. You know, I want like a half inch. Be able to put like a half inch. And it looks like, um, you know, I'll at least show you this part. You know, let's grab one of these and set it in there. And you can see, you know, I've got about a half inch room for about a half inch bed that I can put like two more stones in here and then switch over to to that end over there well what the heck you guys might want to see a little bit of what the step looks like um, so I'll go ahead and and film it trying to keep my hands reasonably clean so I'll get the gloves on. So, uh, trying to keep the front of this membrane just, just above the grade level. And again, this is um, the same material that's used for silt fence so this I was able to get um, I got this at Lowe's um, 
I didn't see it at Home Depot, but it's, if you wanted to make your own silk fence, you know, and stake it, you can just get a roll of this and it's, it's a lot cheaper. So, get some stone in here. Filling that, filling this gap here. Right at the step. See that ate up about a third of a bag right there. So the bigger space you have to work in, cutting your steps, you know, cut like two step, or you know, I don't know what's the best, but I've been cutting about you know two steps, two block long uh length for the for the steps so um you know, what will we'll throw you off at like a broken corner like this you can see it um you know it's throws it off where it's gonna touch the, the block next to it so that um you know, will throw your gaps off vertically. So, let's see, get it hooked on the back. You can see it's got some, it's got some wobble. So, automatically know you gotta get some up under there. about the same well I can see it's see that if that's showing up on camera so it still needs overall want to be able to pound it and throw some back there so I'm not losing you know, throwing it off getting a false sense of getting it level and then you know this starts you get it you know you don't get finished and a good rain or get to a good stopping point anyhow and rain comes and it starts to wash the pebbles down so See what that looks like. Right, looking like there. All right, so let's see me if I. Move it here. Yeah, let's see. Of course, this, these old plastic or fiberglass levels, they do get out of, they will kind of warp this way over time. So, you know, when I throw it that way, it's like way off. But go this way. It's fairly decent. Yeah, I still got some, still got a little bit of wiggle there. Let's see, do we? And overall, it says this one's lower, so. Um, I'll fiddle around with that and move a little bit more that way, then flip over to that end and work out that way. Let's we'll see. Let's see how we're doing this way. So it's 
says we're Still needs some, still needs some work. Double check to see how we're doing back here. See, that one's off, like that way too. So at all those, you know, it's cumulative. All right, see that helped, that helped that one. So, good that looks good so you get the idea I'm gonna keep moving along on this one more block maybe one or two that way and then switch back the other way it's been raining pretty hard today off and on uh, but I don't think I did a view yesterday of what this looked like uh, so this is the membrane that comes from down there it's wrapped all the way around so the the stone base you see of the bee pebbles is what this whole wall is sitting in and so it's curved up around and then I left this gap and I've been kind of <laughs> working out the yin-yang of uh, getting soil up against up against it and rock in it and leaving a gap so that's going to be my drainage system um, to get it down into there because you know as I said before this natural slope is so steep that um, it's just going to run the run the water just down that slope from both sides right down into there and again if you know anything that comes out of this should actually just be like a trickle trickle by the time it gets all moved around and spread out um so it's not gonna i'm only gonna go maybe um in this area on this curve maybe two more two maybe three for just like a little area in the curve and then you can see it'll just it'll be stepped and 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 tapered sorry I keep making this go out of focus stepped and tapered down as it goes up into that hill which you can see it's tapers down really quick you know like up there in front of the house it will only be like a block ish above the sidewalk so, I uh, just, just wanted to show that uh, drainage system and the gravel and how, to, how I'd set that up in, in behind. And I think it's going to be just fine. And then I will, once I get it up the yard up to the level, I want, um, then I will, I'll cut these, I'll cut these back. You know, till they're just you know sticking up an inch or two above the uh, above the grade. So yay, that's what all that looks like. All right, I've been having several days of heavy hard rain, so um, I've had to put the wall project on hold. Uh, when I pick back up, I will be finishing off in both directions. Uh, get it stepped uh, up the hill uh, so I've got to go get more stone and more block uh, let's see so in this video we have uh, dug a ditch very easy get it a block uh, and a half below grade get your uh, I've been using pea pebbles you can use crusher run a small stone uh, would use your levels to get your block level in both directions a dead blow hammer to pound them into pound them into place um, I took the silt fence material which I used as my membrane my uh, the geotextile membrane 
um, wrapped it, you know, it came up over the back and um, uh, it's pulled up behind here and in the gap between I put the uh, clear gravel uh, which is going to filter the water down to this drain tile piece just because of I had constraints with those guy wires and the, the wall's only going to be like 28 inches high at its highest point in this curve and then you can see it just steps into the hill. Uh, the natural slope uh, is just going to channel all the water down to there so uh, just really put this one piece of drain tile through the block showed you how to chip and hammer those uh, and put a little grate uh, on the end of it to keep the stone from coming through uh, this will all get covered up and dug out and um, the large steps I'm going to put in will actually come out over a good portion um, of this. They're going to be three platform steps that are like three feet, uh, eight inches riser, three feet, eight inch, three feet. Um, and that will be a video into itself. And I haven't figured out what I'm going to do on that side of the wall over there. Uh, it's kind of a, a work in progress and I'll just kind of scratch my chin and come up with uh, come up with a method to solve that so um, you know next video that you see should be dealing with uh, the wall should be finished and we should be working on the landscaping uh, up uh, all up here uh, so if you like this video grab <laughs> grandpa stomper and stomp on that like button and please um, subscribe and comment uh ask me any questions i'll get to them uh, as many as i can and uh, thanks for watching